When trees grow or fall into power lines, they can become dangerous hazards, and they can also affect the power supply to hundreds of people and businesses. That's why XL Energy has a robust vegetation management program that adheres to all levels of government regulation and industry standards. Sometimes that means pruning and removing trees and other vegetation around our power lines, including trees on private property. In this program, we'll share the kinds of tree pruning and vegetation removal we do and how we work with homeowners. At XL Energy, our first priorities are public safety and keeping the power on. If trees and their branches are allowed to interact with electric lines, power outages can occur. And people who work or play in trees that are close to power lines could suffer severe injuries, even death, from direct or even indirect electrical contact. To prevent this from happening, we deploy an integrated vegetation management program that may include pruning, removing, or treating vegetation with herbicides. It's an environmentally sensitive, cost-effective, and socially responsible way to deal with vegetation around power lines. We work proactively to prevent tree-caused power outages by clearing vegetation around our distribution and transmission lines. Distribution lines typically run along roads and backyards and carry electricity into your home or business. The clearance around these lines depends on the voltage the line carries and how quickly the vegetation can grow towards the lines. Because these lines are on the property of customers we serve, we have access to them through our customer service agreements. Transmission lines generally carry higher electric loads over longer distances from power plants and between substations. These larger lines are supported by larger structures and require larger clear areas around them. And we usually have greater flexibility in our access to these lines because we have specifically defined easements to these corridors. We remove or prune trees based on the type of tree and the best scenario for the situation. To ensure reliability for transmission lines, we've made it a policy to eventually remove all tall growing trees and other incompatible vegetation within the rights of way of applicable power lines. However, in those rare cases when we find that tree removal is not possible, we will prune trees to satisfy our standards. Trees may be completely removed under distribution lines based on their predicted growth rate, potential risk to public safety, and long-term management goals for the line. If a tree is removed, we cut it as close to the ground as practical, but we do not grind out the stump. We typically treat the stump with an EPA-registered herbicide to prevent regrowth. When the work is part of our proactive cyclical maintenance program, large limbs and logs will be cut into manageable lengths and left on the site for the homeowner's disposal. The brush will be hauled away. If a storm rolls through and branches break and fall on our power lines, we'll be there to help clear them. However, we don't haul away brush in these situations. Other trees near distribution lines may be side pruned or pruned like a V to encourage them to grow away from the electric line. Access, terrain, and tree height may necessitate the use of mechanical pruning equipment. Pruning methods strive to comply with standards set by the American National Standards Institute and the Tree Care Industry Association, which are supported by the International Society of Arboriculture's publications. We take a critical look at each situation before we prune a tree or clear vegetation. And in the event that we must remove a tree or clear branches on private property, our customer notification process ensures the public knows what to expect when we do our work. Unless our work is urgent, customers are notified in advance of tree clearance work on their property. We may leave door tags on homeowners' homes or call the number that customers have provided, alerting them to our upcoming work. It may need to sign a form before we can begin the removal. Even when we're not in your neighborhood doing routine vegetation management work, which we usually do every three to five years, we're here to answer your questions. If you'd like us to look at a tree you're planning to remove, or if you have branches you're thinking of pruning near our power lines, call us. Homeowners are urged not to prune trees around electric lines. It is dangerous. Let qualified professionals do this work. If you have questions, you can always call us at 1-800-895-4999 or visit us online. We hope this information about our vegetation management program helps you understand how we work to keep you safe while providing the electricity we all depend on.